All right, what's going on, guys? So today we're going to be covering uh, the ninth Gen SI uh, intercooler piping kit. Uh, there's going to be a lot of things that we need to cover in order for you to understand uh, if this kit will work for you or not, or some of the modifications that you will need to do in order to get this kit to work for you. Okay, so one of the first things uh, that we're going to be offering this kit is going to be on a two and a half inch and a three inch kit. Uh, this right here is going to be a three inch piping, and it's going to flow the same way for both of them. So do keep that in mind. There's not going to change. They're both going to be identical. But again, the size of the piping is going to be different. Now, what do I recommend for you to do? Uh, if you're going to be making under 700 horsepower, I would suggest to go with a two and a half. If you're going to be making any more than 700, I would suggest to go with the three inch piping. And again, that is can vary and whatever your choice you would like to do. That is just my personal preference for over the years of doing this. Um, so anyways, the very first thing you need to be aware of it and uh, you need to know you need to have an RBC manifold. If you do not have an RBC, this will not work for you. OK, so please keep that in mind. Uh, the very next step is you're going to have to have a sidewinder set up. This will only work with our manifold. OK, you can see here everything is clocked specifically to sit just for our manifold so every any other manifold can sit further back or either more forward and it will cost the piping not to fit properly so that's a, one thing to keep that in mind all right so moving down is going to be for the blow off flange this are only going to work for a 50 millimeter uh tile blow off okay so that's another thing all right so moving down on under that it's going to be the intake temp sensor so that is going to be a little tricky situation here and that is something that we offer which is a an adapter here that I have there on the website that will uh, delete your math and it will add it to an intake um, take, uh, temp sensor. Now this, I will highly suggest to talk to your tuner and um, get more information about that. Uh, this is an RSX intake temp sensor and also will have the option to add it with the harness or and as well with the adapter here because K-Tune has it and I know a lot of people probably already have it. so. It's going to be just better to have it there as an option. If you don't have it, do add it to the website. I mean, add it to your cart. And very simple, the way it works is a three-piece design. And just going to quickly show you guys how it is. So you can see here. So we got the cap, the middle piece, and then we got the bottom. Make sure there's an O-ring there, even for mines or the K2 one. Okay, again, this is from an RSX. Now, in order to get this piece to work properly, you're gonna have to shave down those fins right there. You can see there, okay? It's, if you don't shave those, it is not gonna go down. As you can see here, it touches that, okay? All right, and that will be for mine or the K2 one, either or. So do keep that in mind, because I already have people before. It doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. Of course it doesn't fit, you have to shave that down. So keep that in mind, that's how it's gonna work. And then once you put it together, okay, give me a second here. Oh, yeah, so the way it will work, oh, excuse me. Once you have put it there all the way through, you put this on, okay, and then you bring the other one on top, and then that will sandwich it together like so. And then you will put it onto there. I will suggest to put some Teflon there, and you can see how, how it will go here. Mind this, I'm trying to do this so you can see there how it will go so obviously you put it on all the way and then you put some teflon on that okay there's no need to put teflon on this part as you can see here we have the o-ring that's the purpose of it all right so moving down you can see how the piping goes uh, one last thing here that i forgot now that we're here on top that is going to be for your um throttle body so we're going to be only given one with a three inch uh, coupler on this side. This one was extremely tight. What's uh, throttle body is this one? ZDX. So yeah, so just know that you can see how much tighter it really fits. Yes, it does work the three inch. It is on there, but it's very, very tight. And then we have the three inch piping and vice versa. If you were to do the two and a half inch piping, it'll be three inch this side and two and a half this side. And it is a very difficult task to please everybody with the right um, throttle body. So we, I just, for all the kids, I usually give a standard. Worst case in there happens, you're gonna have to get the one specifically for uh, your um, throttle body. That's it. So if you have 
a different one just know that this is three inch to whatever size that you have and vice versa same thing with the two and a half inch it'll be two and a half inch to whatever th size throttle body you have but just know that it does come with the coupler um so if you have the three inch it'll be three inch to three inch if you have the two and a half it'd be two and a half inch to three inch okay all right so moving down um you can see here how it looks we have made it into a four-piece intercooler and um one of the things that you need to remove is going to be here this whole strut piece and the reason we've done this it was a very difficult task to get that to fit with the oem piece there um and also as well you're going to have to trim this here as you can see there okay and then there's also slight trimming here inside as you can see there okay and that is required and this is something that you don't want to do don't order the kit as much as i hate to say that but it is a slight modifications this is not like a stock upgrade like you know stage one stage two uh kind of thing we don't have that for honda so this is either you go turbo or you go you don't well, or nothing. <laughs> that's it so and then uh our intercooler so this piping will work with the six to eight hundred horsepower intercooler okay you can use ours this is the diesel factoration ones you can use the plm one or you can use the speed factory that's really your choice that's what it will fit for and then the next thing is going to be here is going to be our brackets so you can see here so that's the brackets we sell on the website as well it's absolutely perfect i have we have worked our ass off to make this uh possible for the night gen shout out to chris uh, he's behind the camera this is his car he allowed us to really make this for you guys so if you guys ever see him around pat him in the back <laughs> so shout out to him so if you do not put the intercooler properly in the center and let's say you don't get our brackets you might have issues of you know the intercooler not fitting properly so do keep that in mind i will suggest us to buy everything uh so you can just have hassle free um other than that you want to put any input on there chris uh i think, I, think I cover everything yeah, pretty good you pretty, cover, pretty much cover everything yeah so. only thing is i yeah. feel like for the cutting part you know for the most part you don't have to cut it you know even if you do what the PRL if you do prl kit you see regardless that. you have to cut a piece in the subframe but yeah. there's no avoiding it you know once you do this it's like you have to be all in oh and there's another thing that i forgot to mention is that you will need to have the battery relocated oh, yeah. you can use our kit which we have here chris has it you can see here or you can i don't even know who else has another kit that puts the battery here but oh worst case scenario you're gonna have to put the battery in the trunk um, but that's really uh, your choice to do so. But you're going to have to have the battery relocated. There's no bits or buzz about that. So do keep that in mind. Yeah. ECU still works in stock location. Yeah. It'll stay here. But besides that, I think everything's fine. It's pretty simple. I mean, overall, yeah. it's really your choice to really do the two and a half. I would suggest if you're doing it on a 700, do the two and a half. If you're doing it over 700, do the three inch piping. Um, just from what I have learned and experienced over the years myself but my side we're good to go but now we do have the the up pipes and the down pipes kids that it's gonna be on a separate video got it